Okay guys, uh, welcome to adding and subtracting fractions. This little video module is going to go by quickly because uh, this should be review uh, from grade seven content. So uh, I'm just gonna speed through this. Uh, if you have any questions, ask me in class or post it on the tonight's homework page of our blog. So let's start with adding fractions, okay? Here I have five sixths uh, plus three quarters, okay? The first step when you're adding and subtracting fractions, regardless of whichever function it is, is you have to find a common denominator. In case you've forgotten how you find a common denominator, what you do is you list the factors of each denominator, okay? So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. And for 6, it's going to go 6, 12, uh, 18, 24, okay? So we've reached a common denominator. Here it is, 24 is our common denominator. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's actually do that, that multiplication. So if you've got five over six, and you want six to become 24, one, two, three, four, six times four equals 24. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Five times four equals 20 over 24, okay? Now we gotta do it for three quarters. Three over four. Turn four into 24, we have to multiply it by six. Okay, 3 times 6, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Okay, now we've got to add these two fractions together. This is where it gets interesting, because we're going to have an improper fraction here. Watch this. You have to add these two equivalent fractions, or these two uh, fractions together. So 20 over 24 plus 18 over 24. Okay. What you're going to end up with is 38 over 24. This is an improper fraction. Okay. To make our answer complete, to make it a proper answer, we want to turn this improper fraction into a mixed number. So 24 out of 24 would be one whole. Right? So 24 out of 24, right? And then 34 would be 10 more, plus 4 would be 14 over 24. So the answer, 1 and 14 over 24. That is the result of this addition equation. So that is adding fractions. <laughs>
So that's 65 over 20. And then we do uh, 8 over 5. All right, 5 times 4 is 20. Um, 32. Okay, so now that you've done the operations, we've got these two uh, common multiples. So 4 times 5 is 20, uh, and 13 times 5, because what you do to the bottom, you do to the top, you have 65 over 20. Okay, then we have 8 times 4 is 32, uh, and 5 times 4, obviously 20. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Now we can easily do the subtraction. We can write out the subtraction statement. 65 over 20, subtract 32 over 20. And what you're going to end up with is going to be 33 over 20. However, because that's a, it's an improper fraction, we're going to have to write this out. The end answer is going to be 1 and 13 over 20. That's your final answer.